I feel like it's been so long since you guys have seen me like with my natural hair. I it got a little crazy. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sherry Alicia here. Um, let's talk about some updates. Let's just like let's chit chat. I've got my makeup here. I have been neglecting my like creative artistic makeup beside because as a creative my mind is everywhere all the time like I feel creative when I'm watching a show that I'm really passionate about I feel creative when I'm in front of the camera and I'm putting my makeup on but I have a lot of different um, things that I like to do and I pick up hobbies very quickly as a creative and so um, sometimes things just kind of spin out of control so I end up neglecting you know my channel or 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 sometimes people it's not even intentional it's just in my brain like right now I'm literally talking to the camera and doing something else but I'm also looking for my bra product. so sometimes when I am fully invested in a creative um thing I kind of I I don't think I've ever admitted this to myself, but I kind of let myself go. Not in a like, I don't care about myself or I'm depressed kind of thing, but I kind of let myself go. Like my brows are crazy. My hair is, my hair is growing. I even grew a little mustache. <laughs> and it happens sometimes because I'm so invested in like things that are going on in my, in my everyday world and my family and my friends and trying my best to like be present for them. But I could get lost in like, the abyss of the world that like sometimes beauty doesn't matter to me and I think that's probably why maybe I'm not as consistent with my channel because um this does make me happy and I would say that it's my first love I think beauty's always been my first love like there are people that know me as someone who is always like doing her makeup or you know wanting to do her best like I still love makeup and I still want to be a part of this world but sometimes disconnecting from beauty is really good for me and so I started a cha another channel and it is my tarot page and I am a storyteller and I find that I like telling the story of what about what I'm seeing via tarot card readings and so if you guys are interested I will link it below and I will I will talk to you guys about it I don't want this to be like a please subscribe to the channel if you if that's something you're interested in then by all means do your thing but if you came here just to see me beat my face then welcome thank you for coming back to my channel I'm a person that has different looks um I change it up. I'm sure by the summer I will be another hair color. And then you're going to be like, what happened, girl? You was just dark skin. You just had dark hair before. So, brows are getting filled in. I haven't filled my brows. I'm going to be honest. I haven't done... Oh, it's getting hot in here. I haven't done my makeup on, in three weeks. And I, want, I needed to just feel good. And that's the thing about tarot when I'm done with it I'm done with it and I can take a break from it and then come back to it I've been teaching myself tarot for about eight months and I think that I'm really good um I do charge tarot about eight dollars for one question read and then if you need a oracle card in it, it's 11 11. cheers to anybody else's drink with me um I've been doing really well with it I really enjoy it it's something that I do for fun, but I know how to turn off both of these things and like I have to just to me as long as I'm being creative, I'm happy. As long as I, being creative means being productive. I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but like being productive is, is like, I don't know, just brings me joy. And I just have been feeling since I've been home for the last two weeks and I just have been I've kind of been in my bubble this whole coronavirus thing has gotten to me not in a like a super like emotional thing but it's it's I do I'm a homebody but I enjoy being outside and I don't like this idea that like if I get on the train some shit's gonna happen and I'm gonna corona like that's 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 like the state of the world right now and I don't blame people for feeling the way that they've been feeling and it's hard it's it's I, I feel like it's a, a really hard thing if anyone's interesting I don't know why I grabbed the hangover rx Hangover RX, um, the Too Faced. I just wanted my skin to be like really moisturized. I'm gonna just do one pump so it's not too 
not that my skin is dry but i just want my skin to like get some hydration it's 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 some real turbulent times and i feel like sometimes makeup can be trivial and it's like is this the right time to be like talk i don't have anything new you know i'm probably gonna end up doing the same beat that i always do i'm a tried and true kind of girl i'm gonna do tatcha as well um i was gonna do the one i want to make a video i'm not gonna do it today um but i want to make a video of um i forgot this makeup artist um his name starts with a j it was like the best makeup tip um to making your makeup last all day essentially it's using setting powder after your moisturizer setting spray and then using um a primer and the guy used this one what I will say about that is that if you are someone who is on the oily side, you'll enjoy it. But if you're on the drier side, I think it's, it, it could be a little, it could be a bit much. Um, because even somebody like me who's combination skin, I find that it's still a little, it's still a little heavy. So, yeah. I like variety. And I struggled with this whole idea of like, oh, do I make a new channel? I have technically three channels. And only two of them are being used, which is the one you guys are watching and then the one that I have, which is my tarot card, right? I like having multiple activities or hobbies per se and not being confined to the whole idea because I'd be lying if I said that this shit don't bother, not that it bothers me, but this shit doesn't bore me from time to time. Oh wait, that's too fucking dark. You know, because sometimes makeup does get boring and like trying to like put on or attempting to like put on makeup to make yourself better during hard times, it kind of feels like trivial. And a lot of the times it feels like, you know, like are my priorities in the right place? And I, I, I'm i hard on myself about makeup sometimes because um, it's a happy place and my happy place is spending more money on makeup. <laughs> And the funny thing is through my tarot card reading, someone had purchased me a $50 gift card because they were impressed with my reading. And I was just like so ecstatic about that. And I wanted to buy, I was going to like, because you guys know, I used to work at Sephora. And the first thing I was thinking about is, oh my God, I can cough up. I had, I have another gift card. I have a $50 gift card from this person. And then I, want, I had already set aside $100 that I was going to spend. And I was going to treat myself to new things. I like made a list. And then when this whole coronavirus thing went down, I was like, fuck this this sucks this fucking sucks because i'm not gonna go and get what i wanted to do with the money was i wanted to spend it on um they have an oxygen facial that i used to do what's funny is i used to enjoy doing this the most on on people like if you spend 75 dollars you would get a new you would get a facial and that thing used to suck up everything i'm talking about everything i'm gonna use my elf tan walnut to prime my eyes i want to um actually do eyeshadow today i talked all this shit about not doing eyeshadow and like today's the day that i want to do that um but um yeah i wanted to spend the money on that i was like looking forward to that and now i'm as much as i want to go shopping i have to be smart about what i spend my money on and um being responsible sometimes is 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 a scary thing you know having to think about fucking not spending money in the state of the world those are kind of things so i i have stuff and and you know there are obviously going to be things that you've already seen before and it's just about me just talking and doing my makeup and just like having you guys here and i feel like that's more important than having new shit you know like you don't have to have the newest stuff and i i, I used to i think that's probably why i kind of neglected this channel because i'm like i'm never going to be able to keep up i'm never going to it's like stop being so hard on yourself and do what you do and enjoy what you do and like just like be in the moment and i feel like that is an advice that i need to give continue to give myself you know it's just like just chill like everything's everything happens for a reason and like this whole experience is going to like open up your eyes to like what do you like to do how can you contribute to the world and like be a part of the solution as opposed to being a part of the problem because it's so easy to be a part of the problem which is i think a part of the problem is constantly complaining about not being able to go outside and like i i don't know like there's a part of me like i'm 50 percent like conspiracy theorist and then there's like 50 percent of me that's like not a shit real because i'm hearing people that i personally know that are contracting it and it's, it's such a weird phenomenon because it's like you know 
I get articles every day from friends and it's like this shit is real and you need to not go outside and it's like how do you live your life how do you not live your life it's it's a it's it's a weird time to be alive I, I won't say that you know these are the kind of things we used to read about in our history books and now we are like living that it's 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 so strange that we're like living this and it's like how do you fucking protect yourself from from living your life and not contracting something we don't know it's real and like the symptoms are 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 getting to us like there's just a lot of a lot of things going on that that are scary and like being alone sometimes makes me that's the part i think i kind of get sad because i've always been a person that's like i enjoy being single i i love love and i like miss being in a relationship but this if this situation taught me anything let me zoom in why does the camera always die why why what i was gonna say is if this kind of situation taught me anything it is that um give love to give is to receive and um to stop being afraid of being out there because like all I want is to be held right now. I know that sounds so like oh my god. It's so I don't want, I don't want anybody to feel bad for me because I was I honestly chose to be single for a little bit because I was going through like a lot of like crazy relationships and um, I miss you know having somebody protect me like so much like so 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 much and. I, yes, I'm a strong, independent woman, and I could do it all by myself, but it's like there's nothing like being in a relationship and having two heads make a decision for like your livelihood that's that's such a great feeling and like i I really like commend people who who are in healthy monogamous relationships in which you're they're protecting their partner and they're taking care of their partner and and vice versa because now are the times where people wish they like had it and I'm one of those people that's like oh you didn't want to be in a relationship and not that I'm being hard on myself but I just I, I just these are the times where I wish I was not it's not even about being in love I wish I there was somebody here protecting me and I was doing the same for them and like my strength would be my strength strengths were being strengths were being used um for the betterment and that we were just looking out for each other you know because my family doesn't live here and I make the best of it every day and I just hope you guys are doing the same. I pray that you guys are doing the same and um, protecting the family that you have, you know. This video is about to end. I will try to come back, but I'm probably going to continue to do the makeup. So um, I will see you guys next time in another video.